on piano. I had Rob Mullins on piano. He played piano and synthesizer. And I had, uh, what was it, Lance Lee on drums. I got Lance, I got, I got, I got the, the Lance Killoff. I got a lot of Lance around me. And I have Lance Rickman over there on top. So I, when I said Lance, I got my mind sort of explodes. <laughs> So anyway, it's a, it's a cool thing that, that this song had a lot of my childhood, high school brothers on it, and uh, so the other great musician on it, he's passed away. All these guys on that record is almost gone. Um, Roy Alexander. Roy Alexander was one of the greatest organ players you ever hear in your life. So if you get the record Blue Seal work for me, that's where I, I, say, I, I wrote a song about B.B. King told, telling him that Lucille worked for me. Well, this, this is the greatest thing that I think B.B. ever done while he was here, is make this guitar. This is the greatest blues guitar I ever played. And I, I won't play anything else. I just put some new strings on it, that's why it's... Act it up. Anyway, this song is all about all my friends gone by. My friends like Joe Tex. This song is called Hold On, and it's and it's uh, titled after a song that Joe Tex made very pop popular. It's called Hold On to What You Got. And then my other friend was Sam Cook. I knew Sam Cook. The last time I saw K Sam Cook was in Dothan, Alabama. He was coming into the whole motel that we were leaving out of, and he had records out like "Send for Me." Then, no, no, what was it? You send me, darling. You send me, and uh, he waved a a, a, a fearful beef eaters gin out the out the out the bar. We 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 all was hey Sam. He, he hold up a fearful fifth, beef beef eaters. Sam was that kind of guy. He was a good guy, and uh, that was. Uh, Another song that I, 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 I recorded with, uh, uh, I, 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 re I didn't record the song with him, but I recorded this song on, on, on the, this one here, this, this, this method. His name was Chuck Willis. I, that, that gentleman had me, caused me to make over $150,000 in a year back in 1957. Walking around with a lot of money, and, uh, <laughs> and he had seven straight hits when I played with him. I played on five of them, and uh, he he uh, uh, um, was like playing with Michael Jackson today, even though Michael's gone. But it's like playing with somebody like Michael Jackson when 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 you was playing with a guy who had seven straight hits back in the fifties. So I was going around buying married chicks. I married them now, and I'm buying them houses and things. I bought them. I bought the brand new house in the Bronx in New York. And I was, I, I, my little young punk running around with that kind of money, man. He don't look back in that time. He don't know what to do. <laughs> and, and every one of them houses I bought, them women put me out. I mean, put me out. They said this little, this little old square from Texas up in New York. <laughs> Let's take all the money he got. He got. <laughs> anyway, this song goes like this, and you're gonna like it. I got one more guy on there I didn't tell you about. Jesse Bell. He did Good Night, My Love. Jesse, well, he had my favorite guitar player play with him when he when he passed. It's, I, I can't think of his name right now because you asked me. It's, <laughs> it's been 50. 1957. Anyway, this great guitar player was, was in the car with Jesse. They was coming from Little Rock, Arkansas, and those little small roads down there then, uh, a truck was coming the opposite way from where they was going, and they, they uh, was going around a curve, and they had the driver that was driving for Jesse at that time named Charles Shackleford. He was, he, he learned to drive for artists because he worked for Chuck Willis before he got the job for uh, Jesse Bell. But they were coming around a corner and uh, leaving out of Little Rock and they went head on, head, head on into a big truck, a semi-truck. 
semi big truck, and he, he Jesse was in a cat like, and Jesse got over, went, bent over. I, I hear Jesse bent over. I thought I heard from the guitar player. He lived a little while out there, and and I, and, and Jesse uh, 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 bent over his wife, and that's both of them died that night. Yes, his wife was named Joanne, and Jesse Belvin was the had the smoothest voice of all times. And so anyway, here's what I'm getting ready to do for you. These are all my friends.
bullets seemed like it was just yesterday. I heard Chuck say, What am I living for? If not for you. What am I longing for? If not for you. You'll be the only one. you got